everyone. Thank you for joining me today. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you on this day. Now, I'm sure there are some of you that really dislike this day. I've been there. Doug's been there. If you're single on this day, I first of all want to encourage you to go out and listen to two of my past blogs and blogs that I've done in the past couple of Valentine's Days. And I'll put the links below in the descriptions so that you can read and watch them and really learn, if you haven't already, just what I feel about Valentine's Day and how to make the most of that. But as I was preparing for this day this year, I thought, what could I do that would make this year's Valentine's Day message different and unique? So with February coined as the month of love, I thought it would be helpful to talk about ways that you can love your life that you have right now. We all have goals, we all have dreams and aspirations, but it's really about right now. So when I speak, I share that I love my life, and it's true, I do love my life. And I never thought I'd be able to say that, especially being a quadriplegic. So how can I say this and mean it? Let me tell you, I've actually had people argue with me, saying that there's no way that I can actually believe this. But I do, I love my life. Does this mean that my life is perfect or without challenges? No, far from it. I have many challenges every day. But I believe that even in the midst of struggles and the challenges of life, that we can find ways to love life right now, no matter what you're going through. Life is short. I've learned that in the last couple weeks in losing my aunt. And so do your best to enjoy the season that you're in right now. So to help you love your life right now, I wanted to share some things today that you can do. Now, the first way to love your life is to be grateful for what you have. I say this a lot, and you're, some of you are probably rolling your eyes, but it's so true and it's so important. If you're struggling with loving your life today, make a gratitude list for all the things that you're grateful for. I've asked people, have you done this? No, start, start now, start a gratitude journal, writing down three things a day that you're grateful for. This helps with perspective. It helps us realize all that we have. It makes a huge difference. I know this firsthand. I would not lead you astray. The second way is similar to the first, but I just wanted to share that today is a gift. There were thousands of people that did not wake up this morning and you have the opportunity to live today. You'll never get today back. Yesterday is gone. And so we have to make the most of what we have today. And so cherish the little things, cherish your loved ones, tell them that you love them. Cherish the fact that you have good food to eat and a roof over your head. Now, I know this sounds cheesy, but I've heard it said that today is called the present because it is a gift to be cherished. So along with being grateful, do this today. Realize that today is a gift and cherish it. Another way to love your life today is to do something for someone else and just watch the expression on their face. Purposely do something kind for someone today. See how good it makes you feel. I love doing this because it really fills my bucket. It's so easy to get inward focused on all that we don't have. And, but by helping someone else in need, it will pay you back immensely. So do this on a regular basis. And, and if you're wondering how you can do this on a regular basis, sign up somewhere to volunteer. There are so many places looking for volunteers these days and human interaction is so important to make the most of today. So reach out to a friend that's struggling. Ask what you can do for them or go visit a friend that's struggling or loved one that you have not seen in a while. These are ways to love your life today. Now also, I wanted to encourage you to do something that you enjoy. What do you love to do? I love to read. Outside of speaking, reading is the thing that I love to do the most. So take time today to do something that you enjoy and love doing, even if it's for 30 minutes. It can help you refocus and love today, whether it's painting, drawing, singing, reading, sewing, crocheting, or even video gaming. Take time to do something that you enjoy. Now, one last idea, and I have to have a little disclaimer here because trust me, I love my smartphone. 
But most of us are lacking in human connection, which our phones, in a way, are linked to depression. And so don't turn me off here. I just want to encourage you, put the phone down and play a game with a friend. Have face-to-face -face interaction with your spouse, a friend, a relative, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, whoever you are around. And while you're doing it, keep the phone away. Don't be looking at your phone. Again, don't get me wrong, because my husband's always telling me that I'm on my iPhone. But it's amazing what we can do when we put the phone away and have real life connection. Face-to-face, heart-to-heart. Another way that you can love your life today. So these are just a few ways that you can make the most of Valentine's Day, that you can love your life today. I'd love to hear what you do to love your life. And so please comment below. More than anything, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day today. Whether you're single or married or whatever is going on in your life, choose to love your life today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel. Like I said, comment on this video below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. See you soon.